In our other top story, a gunman shot a driver dead behind the wheel of a car and caused a major crash. Yeah, and right now a massive search is underway for the suspected shooter. Let's go live now to news specialist Nicole Vow with developments coming out of Murray here. Nicole, what do you know? Well, Mike, the search for that suspect is still on, still very active and has been for the last several hours. That search really centering around this area right behind me. I'll step out of the way and show you. This is near 4500 South and State Street here in Murray. You can see investigators still on the scene. Uh, this is where the shooting and that crash took place. You can see they're loading that last vehicle uh, that was involved in the crash on that tow truck right now, trying to clear this roadway. But truly the main focus right now for officers and investigators is locating this suspect. The driver fled from there straight across to the east across State Street, crashing into the cars that you see here. A middle of the road crime scene during rush hour traffic. A massive manhunt for a suspect. They immediately uh, brought in agencies uh, from all over. Maury police say a man sitting behind the wheel of his car in this parking lot was shot in the head. An individual approached that car, opened the passenger side door and fired a gunshot in there, striking the driver. After that single shot was fired, the victim then accelerated, lost control and plowed through nearly six lanes of oncoming traffic. And all of a sudden I heard a big crash. Bob Bailey was in this blue BMW. I couldn't figure out how somebody would hit me going directly eastbound. A lot of uh, bystanders came to check on him. He was unconscious. Bailey, who's recovering from open heart surgery, was among several other drivers involved in the crash. Just lucky to be alive. Now police are scouring nearby businesses for surveillance video as they continue their hunt for who's responsible. Having this person out on the street is dangerous, so we want to get a hold of it. And that suspect is described by police as a man in his early 20s wearing a black skull cap, a black jacket, khakis. He was seen running from the scene on foot here near 45th South and State Street. Mike, police believe at this point the shooting may be drug related, but the good news in all of this, everyone else involved in the crash is going to be just fine. Back to you. Yeah, hopefully you can get more some uh, eyeballs on this and track this person down. Nicole, thank you. Dave.